What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Guilds of Ravnica. Gruesome Menagerie. That's not what we're taking. What's the pick here, man? You don't want to get a three, a two, and a one? No, I, I definitely don't. Dude, I have no idea about this format. I know, that's you can't why. ask me to pick. So I think it's either this 5 4 flyer that when it Surveil dies, you surveil two. two. That's pretty good. Or this lava coil that deals four. And if a creature dies, you exile instead. Um, I think it's the floaty boy, though. Yeah, he's kind of a bomb. And blue is just really, really good. Every day is Chicken Sunday, except when it's also Candy Tuesday. That's true. There is going to be some Japanese candy at some point. So, more more goodies from Kerwit. I'm going to see if he uh, if he's available. Maybe he'll get a chance to join in. I'm going to take this 5-4 floaty boy. Oh, and Imara? Interesting. Is she any good? What do you think? I feel like she's probably okay. But if you don't have a way to like untap her and tap her constantly, I feel like... You attack once or twice, and then it dies. But then you still get... It's still a 2-2 two, two for 2 that you got two creatures out of, right? That's true. Pen, pineapple, apple pen. I have a mic. Would have to change colors, but that's not that big a deal. I have a pen. Michael pen. We can also take disinformation campaign, which is not terrible. This does seem good, though. Oh, also, the way to, the way to tap her is Convoke. There's a bunch of Convoke cards. Ah. I'm going to take the campaign, because I'm a bigger fan of... Oh, wow, both of these are very good. That's crazy that they're both in here still. So this guy is a 3-3. When it enters the battlefield, with, it gets a plus one, plus one counter for each gate you control. So if you have three gates, it's a 6-6 six, six flyer. It's pretty good. This guy's a 4-4 four, four for three. It enters with three counters, and it has Trample. But whenever you cast a multicolor spell, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Not bad. So... Like, usually it's at least a 5-5, five, five because there's a lot of multicolor cards, as you would imagine. I'm surprised they're both in here, though. Also, just so everyone knows, I'm drinking the hashtag banana coffee. I took the money because I think uh, we already have a six-mana flyer. And I'd rather just have the rampaging money, but because it's not reliant on gates. It's just reliant on my dad. On your dad. So Chamber Sentry's okay. Um, enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter for each color of mana spent to cast it. So it could be a 2-2, two, two, it could be a 3-3. Three, three. Um, my biggest issue with this card is that if you're only two colors, it's only a 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, that's pretty bad. What's well, a 2-2 two, two for two? And then you can still tap X and it to remove X counters from it till two damage to any target or one damage or whatever. Like, I mean, it's still fine. Less impressive, though. I mean, this guy's the only other card I, I could see taking. It has Surveil. It's a multicolor card, so it triggers both of these. Yeah, it's Flash. It's pretty good. I wonder if this is just better, though. I'm going to take this guy. Being able to just pick off 1-1 one, one flyers if they have them is pretty nice. It also makes random gates value. You just yeah, so them. you can just take an Is It Guild gate and just have a random red to pump into it. Yeah, we're just taking Watcher here for sure. It's like I knew. Uh, it's Cloud Reader Sphinx. Oh, yeah. Except instead of Scry, it has Surveil, and it's... And it's a little harder to cast. One blue instead of... Two blue instead of one blue, yeah. I have a pen. I have a Michael. Michael <laughs> pen. Probably just going to take Unexplained Disappearance. Bounce spell with Surveil. Bouncy, yeah. Muse Drake? All right. I like that, and I like Bats. What do you think? Throw one flyer for four, or four mana flyer that draws a card... Well, it's a 1-3, though. Yeah, so it's reverse stats, but you draw a card, which is... I like drawing cards. I don't know about you. Pretty good blocker. Um, I like drawing cards. Is yeah. there a problem with milling yourself in these colors, though? Not really. No? Okay. Maybe you just gotta be careful about it. Which information can... This! Disinformation campaign! My god, man. Get your life together. God, it's so aggressive. I have a pen. Seems like a float format. It's definitely a float format. Demir Informant. Uh, one, four for three. That surveils when it comes into play. Meh. Uh, Pilfering Imp. It's a one mana, one, one flyer. You can sack it. They reveal their hand. You choose an online card from it. They discard it. Meh. <laughs> Just take the four, five for five. Really? Yeah. That's not exciting at all. I'd rather have the surveil card. Yeah, I'm taking the formant. What are you crazy? 
This is a surveil format, you think? It's 100% a surveil format, bro. I'm going to take this gateway plaza, actually. This lets us play anything that's that we the, want. The, the, it's the Rupture Spire. Oh, yeah, okay. Actually, is Demir Locket better? Draw two in the late game? As opposed to fixing. This is any fixing. Yeah. It hmm. does basically time walk you, though. It's true. How slow is the format? How slow are you? Very. I don't know if you noticed. I, I had a feeling. This one is Battlefield Target Creature Gains Menace and plus X plus O. Michael got a venti mocha frappuccino with a banana blended into it. Oh, look. This guy just came back. So Nice. That's a good dude. Oh, wow. Another one. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that, I guess. I'm just going to take a wall of mist, maybe. It's better than this guy. Oh, enhanced surveillance. You look at two additional cards. Exile it to shuffle your graveyard into your lap. That actually doesn't seem terrible if we're just putting a bunch of junk in our graveyard. Venti means 20. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. Unmoored Ego. Choose a card name. Search target opponent's graveyard hand and library for four cards of that name and exile them. That player shuffles their library and then draws it. Yeah, I don't care. We is know. that because they're 20 ounces? Yes. That, is, that oh, was wow. originally why they were called Venti. Yeah, Murmuring Mystic seems pretty good here. It is an uncommon. That's a good one. And it makes Molokus. I actually didn't realize this was an uncommon, so... Uh, Chemistry's Insight. Rare? Also, oh, I thought it was common. No, that's too good for a common. It is pretty good, yeah. I'm going to take this Chemistry's Insight. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Mike's, Mike's input? Yeah, that's a good one. Probably going to take this Disdainful Stroke. You waiting for me to say that's a good one? Yeah. Well, everybody knows that's a good one. It's been established in other formats. Let's see what else is in the pack. Oh, uh, 11 Seeker Herbs and Spices. Thank you for the sub, buddy. Welcome back. It is it Locket for your... Is it Poppin' and Locket? I think Century. this is just better. It just counters so many... Like, there's so many good cards in Limited that are 4 mana or more, right? True that. Yeah, so I took it anyway. I don't know why I said anyway there. Like... I, have. I took it even though you agree with me. Ha. Huh. We also could yeah, not be... We could be blue, We could be blue-red uh, blue here instead of black. Like, the only black card we have is Disinformation Campaign. What was that thing you put on the sideboard? Uh, the Spinal Centipede. That's not too good. That's why I put it on the sideboard, man. So that being the case, we could take... Is it Guildgate? Which is also good with Rampaging Monument. We're not really missing much out of this pack. Unexplained Disappearance is nice, but... Elk Tears, I'm actually going to murder you. You will actually, you'll be on the ground. It'll be over. I'll just take the guild again, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I like invent. Grab an instant and a sorcery. Not bad. Did you, did you have a chance to read this? I did. Okay. Could also take direct, direct current. Deals two and then you jumpstart it. What's jumpstart again? Uh, You discard a card and you can cast it from your graveyard. Okay. So basically, you turn any card in your hand into that card. So you can potentially deal four to a creature. If you have six mana. Any yeah. target, rather. Could just be Demir Guildgate as well. But I thought we were going to is it. We don't have a reason to. Like, I don't think this is a strong enough pull. This could be, because I do like being able to search for instant and a sorcery, but we actually don't have that many sorceries. I'm going to take the Guildgate. Oh, look, another one. <laughs> Isn't that something? My opponent the other day played a bunch of these against me. That seems okay. It's alright. 3-1 is not really super resilient in this format. I'm tempted to just take that. Do we have any sorceries right now? No, but I think we could get some. I think this is probably the pick. This is stronger than a 3-1. We also have 9 creatures, so I'm not too worried about creatures right now. Another Disdainful Stroke. Crushing Canopy. That's also Sonic Assault. I don't actually love this card. Really? Yeah, what, I mean, like, it doesn't deal damage to the creature. It just oh, I thought something. that was the counter spell that dealt two damage. Never mind. Oh, no, that one's good. I would take that. Could just take Golgari Guildgate here. Could take Circuitous Route. Circuitous Route. Actually, it's better than any of the... Yeah, I don't hate this. I mean, the problem is, like, green would be our splash, and we're already... Um, like, if you have the green to splash this, like... Yeah, it's awkward. 
<clears throat> I think it's better than that. Oh, we can just take this guild gate. All right, everything's coming up, Millhouse. Vigor spine wormums. I took it. Oh, we got bats back, and we got devious cover. This could also be a blue green deck splashing black for disinformation campaign, which would make it easier on the who dis. What new phone? Who dis? <laughs> is this a bit he's doing? What's he doing right now? What's the pick? Is it the batter? Is it the devious cover up? It's counterspell. Yeah, over the three one floater. Mm -hmm. I disagree with you. Okay, got him. God, I got him. He didn't got him. He got so direct. He got him nothing. I got him. Is it lock it? Another. Uh, Demir lock it's fine. Boros lock it maybe. Hmm. No. Just take another worm, I guess. Oh, Passable Adept is definitely playable. This card is pretty game-breaking. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so I'm going to take the Enhanced Surveillance out. I just don't care about that. Everything else is pretty playable. If this guy, if they make this guy a 4-4 four, for four, 4 that can tap to deal 4 to things... Also, if we end up getting five mana to return him from the graveyard to the hand, that's actually very strong. Well, it has to be a recolor, though, right? Yeah. So, I mean, like, if we get enough guild gates to, like, pay five. Seems ambitious. We already have three. We already have four colors here in guild gates, and we can search for them with Circuitous Route. Does it seem that ambitious? Mm-hmm. Why? Because without that Rambi card... We're Pen Pineapple waiting. Apple Pen. Without oh, look, your favorite thing. Another Phoenix that does a random thing to return from the graveyard. It's too much mana. It's too much it's investment. three, three. Yeah. And that's it's, so many. I've had two opponents play this against me, and I'm like, okay, that's just never coming back. And it never came back. It never back. does, yeah. You're not going to play three instant sorceries in the same turn limited. Even in Constructed, that's not that reasonable. I was going to take this because I think this card's great, but I think it's actually Price of Fame. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, mission briefing. And Demir Spybug, which is pretty sick in this deck. We have a lot of surveilling. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah, I think that's the trick. Although I do like mission briefing. Um, yeah, if Notion Rain comes back, that would be nice. Yeah, I'm going to take the Spybug. I just don't think it's worth the green anymore. Like, I don't think it's worth green for Route and for Vigor Spine Worm. Definitely not Vigor Spine Worm. I mean, I'd still play the Golgari Guildgate just to fix our, to fix our chamber, our chamber pot century. I got my chamber pot, chamber pot, chamber pot, chamber pot. You still gonna play? Is it locked? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Dummy. Wow. Hey, remember that time you didn't suck? No. Never happened? Oh, I got you. Yeah, that's right. Got oh, him. Oh, get the Dark Amoeba because it's a rare. Good. This card was game-breaking the other day. I was burning people all day. And we're not going to be doing this deck. Why not? We got an Is It Guildgate and an Is It Locket. Maybe we're uh -huh. Grixis, brah. No. No, we're not. Really? It's double red, man. I don't care about all that. Who made the double red red? Who made the double red red? Mm -hmm. Also, if that mission briefing, briefing comes back, dude. Woo. Woo. I'm getting, the, I'm getting the sweats. I mean, this is probably the pick. But woo. All right, I'm going to take the reasonable card. Wasn't Congratulations, this, you're an adult. Wasn't this your favorite your favorite commander stable? No. Because it deals damage to each opponent, so they all lose. That's so, great. So it's real strong. Hooray. Artful takedown's pretty good. That's a pretty easy pick up here. What about Molder Hulk? Yeah. What am I, Rob? Maybe. False. Not well, Rob. Maybe. But no. What if you're wearing a Mission Impossible mask? 
a Mission Impossible mask. Mm-hmm. They're real good. <laughs> they are real good. All right, while we're while we're doing this, we're gonna try these. Uh, these are lemon high chews. From from Kerwit, gifted from from my boy Kerwit. Hey man, you don't know it's lemon just because there's lemons on the package and lemon colors. He's right. I don't necessarily know it's lemon because of those things. I'm just gonna take a guess. Is it Omni Spell Adept? It's a three four for five, but it like can cast the spells in our hand for free. We don't even have anything that good for it. Yeah, but. It's still a 3-4. I don't know, man. I don't think it's another Demir Informant or another Disdainful Stroke. I like Disdainful Stroke. Number two? Oh, wow. This is interesting. Is it very tart? It is very, like... Whoa, Demir Spybug number two? Wow, that's a late... Oh, these are very good. That was an easy pick. Oh, another Watcher in the Mist? Wow. Oh, those are very good. These are nice. As you, I don't know if you can see it here, but they have like a little... Uh, I'm going to reserve this just in case. They have like a little crunchiness inside them. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. Like there's like a little there's like a chewiness and like a it's like a crunch inside of them. These are really good. Did not expect that. These might be the best high cheese I've ever had. The lemonness is real. Yeah, I'm definitely taking that guy. That's insane. That's a late direct current. Not so late. Bartisan bats. I'm going to take this direct current just in case we figure. Ooh. You okay? Just tar, boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just Leapfrog or Muse Drake. I'm not sure which here. Yeah, super interesting. Like these look. I don't know if you guys can see how. Uh, it's not really focusing on it. Yeah, it's it's pretty intense, though. Like it's a really. It's probably my favorite high shoe ever. Oh, the Notion Rain came back. That's fantastic. Notion Rain. Mike stays dry while others feel the pain. Notion Rain. You don't want to leapfrog it up? No, I don't actually like that card. I think it depends on how many instant sorceries we have. Maybe you do. Maybe I do. Is that you or Hunter? No, it's Hunter. Barrier of Bones. This deck looks insane. Double Watcher in the Mist. City Watch Sphinx. Double Demir Spy Bug. Price of Fame. This deck is definitely gas. I am a fan. I want to play all the guild gates for our rampaging monument. I and think I play Is it Locket over Demir Locket. Unfortunately, we don't have actually we don't have a, a white source anywhere, so we have no way to actually get this guy back, which is pretty sad. But I don't know if that would ever. I don't know how relevant that would be. Actually, oh the Sentry, not the not the rampaging monument. Never mind. I don't know why I said. You know what I was. You know what I was saying. You get it. I think this is the deck. Seems fine. I think it's this over this, maybe. I mean, the odds of us drawing cards off this is pretty low. Well, this is pretty high. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine without. All right. Uh, five, six, seven. Say eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good. So this is 8, 9, 10. This is 6, 7, 8, 10, 8. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, this deck looks... Hunter, stop! God, he's so, so rambunctious. 
Guys, if you have the chance to get lemon high chews. Oh, I'm good. Only two? Do you not like these? They're a bit too lemony for me. Oh, man, that's the best. More for me, buddy. <laughs> I don't dislike them. Maybe it's because of what I'm drinking with it. Oh, yeah, the banana mocha frappuccino. Makes sense. Don't really go together very well. Teakwood, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Guildgate in hand. No Guildgate, but Spybug into... Yeah, this is good. Mike stays dry while others feel the pain. Notion rain. What you know about Notion rain? Nothing. That's right. Nothing. And you never will. First time watching live, normally watching YouTube. Tiku, thank you so much for the for the sub, even though you are a YouTube viewer. Really appreciate it. Man, I was hoping for a disinformation campaign. Disinformation campaign. Some stay dry. Bounce. What? You could bounce. Yeah, I'll probably wait. I'll probably just play pass pass wall adept. All right, last one. I think there's more in there, man. No, last one for me. Unless we're making a joke. I can't tell anymore. All oh, those wee dragonauts. Wee dragonaut. Hmm. What are the strongest draft archetypes right now? I don't even know, man. It's too early. I actually always forget this has menace. Um, I'm a big fan of Demir right now, for obvious reasons. But also, I don't know if you have to limit any of your decks to two colors, thanks to all the guild gates. Well, I don't want to bounce that. Look at all these one threes over here. One three, one three, one three, one three. Four of the five creatures on the board are one threes. I kind of just want to unexplained disappearance this guy. Yep, don't care about that. Don't be a land. Okay. What's that guy do again? This guy, as long as you've surveilled this turn, it gets plus, uh, it gets death touch, and whenever it deals combat damage, you draw a card to a player. Pretty good. It is pretty good. Uh, Josh, I actually think Passful Adept is still great. Um, reason being, like, you have cards like Muse Drake, and you have three, four flyers. Like, um, there's a lot of creatures that you just want to get through. Especially, like, on if you have a Dark Blade Agent, I think it's just great. And I'd rather not have another 4-drop, I'd rather have another 2-drop, because this format, it, like, the 1-3 is actually super relevant against the the ground decks. Like, the 2-2, two, 2-1, two, two, one, one, one decks. But, like, being able to surveil and get this guy through in the same turn is pretty strong. That's a, that's an 0-4. Yeah, like, like, literally just like this, where we can go... Play this, surveil two, draw a card, make this guy a 3-3, three, three, make this guy unblockable. Actually, I don't even know if I would make it unblockable. It might just be worth killing one of these two. But draw a card. Yeah. Is one of our random cards better than either one of these? They haven't really done much. Or we could just play 5-4 Flyer. That they may have a difficult time dealing with. What is this? What are we looking at here? <laughs> Chocolate rain. Some stay dry while Michael feels the pain. Chocolate rain. Yeah, slamming a 5-4 actually seems pretty good here. Still going to get in because they can't stop it and they might just take two in case we have a trick. They do not care about my tricks. 
guy's an 04 man. You're right. That's a four mana wall. Some stay dry while Michael feels the pain. Michael rain. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, I figured mm -hmm. you'd kill him. Anybody, fig man, 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 Look, they got the inescapable blaze that we should have taken. Um, So I can put this island in the graveyard. I'll keep this guy. Three, three, floaty boy. Oh, three, three, floaty boy. Um, don't care about you. I will keep you on top. Maybe I'll hit up land. We did, so now we can play either monument or. Pro oh, this is really strong. I don't think you're blocking this guy. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're probably going to block this guy. That's fine. I feel like our board's pretty good right now. Can you move away from the mic when you breathe and talk out mouth? <laughs> At first I was like, what is this? And I'm like, oh, now Chocolate rain. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Chocolate rain. You remember that? Yeah. That was, oh, that's hilarious. For those who don't know, check out that, this this on Day video. It even says it like, I, yes, right there. I move away from the mic to breathe in. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. I think the reason why it's so popular is not only because it's such a meme, but also because, like, he has a great singing voice. He actually does have a good deep voice. He followed me on Twitter, and then he unfollowed me on Twitter after I didn't follow him back. That's so sad. It was one of those mass followings where, like, you follow a bunch of people, and then you hope they follow you back. And then you unfollow them, which is kind of a weird trick. But then I was like, "Tay Zonday, man, I appreciate it. I appreciate you close to the sun. I appreciate what you've done for the music community, but I don't, I don't share. Like, I, I don't really care about your daily updates, unfortunately. What if he has really good wow. updates? Wow. The double inescapable blaze deck seems good. I bet they just wanted to kill us with those. I and mean, they're still pretty far behind. Pretty far behind. Give me a gold card so I can make my... Yeah, like, being able to make both these guys unblockable and deal five when they're at ten. Like, this is what I mean, Josh. This is what I mean. Buddy. Come on, buddy. We could also kill this guy, which I think we're going to do. We're going to kill you. We're going to surveil you into the graveyard. We'll put you on top. Um... I'll make you unblockable so I can draw... And then if you want to go, nope, I'm just going to go to five. All right, so we're going to draw the Disdainful Stroke, which is nice. All right, having Disdainful Stroke in hand is pretty good at this point. Hopefully they don't slam Ral Zarek here. Oh, they just, they're just dead. Yeah, because, like, I mean, they're just dead on board thanks to the Pass Wall Adept. I feel happy that you like my baby horse pictures again. Hey, Matthew. Baby horse pictures... Are, uh, are where you want to be. Chocolate rain. Some stayed dry while Michael feels the pain. Chocolate raid. I'm going to submit this deck. Because I think it's good. What do you think? You think it's good? Do you think our deck is good? I think it's okay. You're pushing yourself farther than you're pushing me. You, I wasn't trying to push you. I was just trying to get my point across. Okay? I was... You know what? Chocolate rain. I hope our relationship doesn't get to the point where all you care about is maybe horse pictures. Matthew, I make no guarantees, but... I'll try to always love you, buddy. Michael B. Some stay dry. <laughs> Can't. I really wish this song was not stuck in my head, but having Notion Rain in my hand is probably not going to aid that in any way, in any meaningful way. Oh, look, we're going to go to Demir. Oh, just kidding. See what I did there? I juked him out. He thought juked we had him. it. We didn't have it, though. Juked him and wooked him. You ever juke and wook? I don't actually know juke and wook. 
What up, Leapfrog? Do you know Juke and Wook? Really? Yeah. This is when you show up? That's cool. Some stay dry while Michael touches your brain. Chocolate rain. I'm pretty sure I'm just blocking here. How do you feel out of block? You like blocks? Oh, I, I like blocks. Oh, I like blocks. You know what movie that's from, man? Chocolate rain. It's not from Chocolate Rain. Okay, okay fine. It's from Green Mile. N no, it's not from Green... I know it's not from Green Mile. I just was checking to see if you were ready. For what? For your answer? Yeah. You still haven't answered the question. It's from Life is Like a Box of Chocolates. It's not from Forrest Gump either. It isn't? No, it's from Idiocracy. Oh, right. Yeah. No, the only part in Forrest Gump where he references money is when he gets the check from Apple. Because Lieutenant Dan invested a bunch of his money. So Lieutenant Dan invested our money in some fruit company. And then I got a letter saying I don't have to worry about money no more. And I thought... That's good. One less thing. Gosh, such a good movie. Look at this idiot. Look at his hands. Look at his big Hulk hands. I think it's going to crush us, man. Yeah, it's definitely this guy. I was like, maybe it's this guy? No, it's this guy. Sounds for... Does it? Chris, I did a Japanese candy tasting stream for the past two weeks because cause my buddy Kerwit... Brought me a bunch of uh, Japanese things. Want to try one of them bad boys? These are some coriander pretzes. Oh boy. I kind of do, but I kind of don't. You can't really see them very well because of the green screen. Just assume that all the parts you can't see are, are so green. Hmm. So, we can't get by this guy anyway. Maybe we just price of fame this guy. How do you feel about that, man? I'm just going to play Muse Drake. And play Gilded, Gilded Guildgate. Does that amuse you? No, don't. It's not. All right, we're going to try some. These are coriander pretzes. Taste of scented coriander. Okay, well, that's a thing, I guess. They have four cards in hand, and we have... Also known as cilantro in Ooh. other parts of the world. Two separate bags. Two separate pretzels. You guys can't see anything. Hunter's like, I heard a bag open. Are you guys... Uh... Electromancer. Okay. All right. Let me hold on. We'll do this in the middle of the round because I don't want to like. This is a lot to focus on. That's interesting. That's also a gold card, ha ha dude. Don't you know? I kind of just want an ocean rain here. Oh, actually, we can play this guy. That seems good. Alexa, stop! Wow, she almost played a Gucci Mane song. <laughs> Gucci Mane. She almost played Wake Up in the Sky by Gucci Mane. And I'm like, wh why? It's Gucci Mane. Is it Mang? I thought it was Mane. I thought it was literally M-A-N-E. I don't actually know. You're so wrong. I just say it that way because I like it. Gucci I don't care Mang. about this guy yet. They have three cards. We have six cards. This makes this guy a 4-4. Four, four. So we can play these two or we can just play Watcher for five. Robot's like, maybe she's just like, maybe I just wanted to hear the song. Can I just listen to a song I like sometimes? And the answer is no. No, you can't. I'm just going to do this. This doesn't trigger anything else in our hand, right? No, this is fine. When the robots rise up, they'll remember that man. That man? That man! I actually don't mind putting Chemistry's Insight in the graveyard because we can still cast it. Do we play a land this turn? No. So I want to put you in the graveyard. How are we going to cast it from the graveyard? Because it has a jump start. Oh, yeah. It literally has the play it from your graveyard ability, Michael. Inescapable blaze. Some get hot and then they burn your face. Inescapable blaze. Inescapable Blazer, bro. For, yep, that's literally what I was expecting. Six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now this guy has to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. This big fat dummy has to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. 
I guess we could disinformation. They have three cards. We can disinformation campaign. Keep the bounce up. We don't. Have, uh, we can keep this and the other thing up. I guess. How you doing over there, man? I'm all out of banana coffee. Banana coffee and it feels so good. Does it? Yeah. Banana coffee like I knew it would. Back, 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 back. Ain't no banana like the one I got. We also decided to let Coldplay live live because they're a pretty all right band. What does this do? You're tapping my my broski. broski. This is actually pretty strong, and I'm not really a fan of it. Ain't no manga like the one I got. So we go to four, and then we just hope we don't have the blaze again, I guess. We can also block here, play this guy, block here. Oh, no, you're not going to attack with that guy. Interesting. Which bounces this information. We can also just bounce this guy, and they can't replay it this turn. Let's do that. I'll take three and hope I don't die to your things. Okay, so you have two cards that we know about. Watcher in the mist, looking at your things. If they have an escapable laser, we're just dead, right? Yes. I guess they could actually play this. Yeah, we actually have to keep this up to kill the frog. Kill the frog. Kill him. Destroy the frog. Yeah, this match is going worse than our first round. You guys here to see Inescapable Blaze? Your mom is. Wow, really? Yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. F -f 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 Fascinating. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Can you, can you let Whoa, us know? Whoa, that looks crazy. <laughs> Whoa! Yep, obviously you have the second one. <sighs> I like that it took you five minutes to do that. <laughs> okay. Seems easy, but what do I know? Seems easy, but what do I know? That was a good almost uh, almost Ink Spots voice you did there. I tried. It seems easy, but what to do? I want to take the bats out and bring in the other Moose Drake. Bats off to you. No, no bats off to me. No, well, I'm doing it anyway. You're doing what anyway? Batting off. You're batting off? Mm hmm That's... Hey, man, can you do it when we're not streaming? Because... No. Wow, Okay. Okay. Well, I believe you. Jump in the line. You want to get some crazy Japanese drinks? No, because I'm drinking this and you're drinking a Frappuccino. I'm out of Frappuccino now. Yeah, you'll be fine. You just had a venti Frappuccino. You can go You can go a few minutes without a drink. You'll be okay. No. I'll die of... St Starvation? Starvation. Yeah, okay. I don't think so, but sure. Well, feel free to jump in the line and rock your body in time. What's the what's against the EULA? The end user license agreement. You like this card? No. Why not? It's terrible. You're terrible. Yeah, but I'm not a card. Nah, you are. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> we have a good time. Can we uh can can old double double inescapable blades over here submit? There we go. Let's play first. Spy bug one time. Ah, uh, this is actually a keeper. Turn through this guy into price of fame. Their blocker draw card. I'm okay with that. No beats so far. We have only sampled some lemon high chews, which were very very delicious. They got flavor crystals in them. They do. They have like pop rocks inside, and it's very rewarding. 
In fact, because I picked it up and showed it to you, that means I'm going to have one. How is the set drafting? I know it's only been two days. I am enjoying it a good deal. Let me try another. Really? Mm-hmm. I was hoping to draw a spy bug here because it would be very, very good, but. Alas. Alright. I don't think there's that many ways to deal three damage in this format, so. I feel like blue black is the best color set, but only if you get the right card. Um, the problem is there's a lot of right cards, so it doesn't feel that hard to do. So I like that we can price of fame this guy and then surveil. Uh, I definitely want both of these actually. Always draw the card. What do you think? Still too tart? I'm suckling on it. Hey, Frank, if I sign up for your Patreon, will you coach me through my MTGA seal pool so I can get like a bajillion wins and get a bunch of... Yeah, obviously I'll do that. Or you can just invite me back to your house and I'll come hang out with you guys and we can do it in real life. Let's surveil again. Let's put all the lands... Oh, boy. I'm just going to keep all these things again. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Do you want to keep drawing cards? How many cards do you want before I trade with this stat electrostatic field? Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, that seemed fine. You threw away a card for just me not drawing a card. Michael B. lives in the garbage can. Is there uh, so any Sultai any Sultai deck? Yes. Well, this is not. This is we're not playing any green cards. This is just for our our rare guy. They didn't play anything. Fascinating. Well, I'm definitely gonna. I kind of want to bounce you, but like, I want. The, actually, we're gonna bounce you. Uh, obviously, keep you on top because we wanted you on top, and then we're gonna play you. Yeah, of course they're going to counter it. That's unfortunate. Oh, they're not going to counter it. Oh, boy. Um, Graveyard. I don't want either of these, to be honest. So. There's a level on your Patreon that you can move in with someone to coach them and hang out. Yeah, it's, uh, that would explain Mike. Yeah, this is Mike has that level. He doesn't get any better, though, unfortunately. It's just... It's all for show. It only costs you $600 a month. He's really just trying to be... He's just hes just looking for a friend, you know? Just <laughs> I'm just getting all the, uh, the H3H3 sponsors, apparently. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, Biscuit City. I'm just going to play this guy and keep the surveil guy in my hand. Block here? Yeah, it seems fine. Is this a good deal, huh? Because this guy is Menace, so if they play a Flyer, we still have this guy to, uh... Yeah, that's fine. So now they can't double block. Like, they can't play an instant on our turn to, like, tap a guy down and double block. 
I want to play this guy during upkeep because I think the surveil is better at that point. For obvious reasons. Yep. Graveyard. Always yield to that. <laughs> oh, 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 you see, it's a big creature. The bulba. Uh, we're only gonna play flyers. Like they can just block here. So, the bulba. Yep. See, but we we attack with this guy, even though it's not gonna make a difference because they can't. They're then we just get through with this guy. Like, we have no blockers if they try to crack back, but they're only going to crack back for, like, two. So if they go Inescapable Blaze for six, we go to nine. Yeah, that's fine. This guy's uncommon. That's interesting. So now we go to... So we go to... What, we take seven from Inescapable Blaze. So we go to seven. This guy becomes a three. So we go to four. Ooh, that's pretty bad. I feel like they're just actually doing uh like they're comboing us out. Yeah, they're doing more damage than we can than we can deal with, unfortunately. Alright, that's fine. As long as I can block a creature, I'm totally fine. They only have two cards in hand as well, so. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, watcher in the mist. Oh, I don't hmm. This guy's not very good now because we have no other cards in hand. The Demir Locket might be worth it just to draw it and draw two cards instantly. Is it worth paying? We pay three and then we pay four to do it. it seems better than random nothing. Right, but it does cost seven mana. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So like one, two, three, four, five, six. So seven of our mana will be tied up next turn as opposed to just getting a fresh card off the top. Yeah, it's probably a bottom bottom. <sighs> you mean graveyard, graveyard. Yeah. Also, just gonna attack with this guy now because, like, they just block here and take one extra point. It's not worth shutting down the uh... open up shop because next turn they can block here and they take three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe I should have attacked because then it puts them to seven and they're dead on board if they don't have a floater boy. Floater boy. He was a floater boy. He said, "See you later, boy." And he floated and he ran on the yeah, that's fine. You're just trading a land for a thing. Japanese candy. All right, they're not doing anything, so. Ooh, that was a good one. That's a pretty good one. That's a good boy. Uh, one, two, three. Six mana, huh? Six damage, you go to two. And they're going to kill a thing in response. Yep, that's fine. No. Alright, cool. I'm just going to play the last card. Oh, boy. Alright. Game is pretty close. Blaze deals us seven with this, so we go to five. We can block everything they have. Yeah, that's pretty good. Even if they block here, both of these guys are lethal. If we can draw like dis no, disdainful stroke doesn't do it though. Oh, I guess we just win the game. I guess they just don't have it. Hey, oh. hey, that's pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Is there anything I wanted to change? I don't think so. Deck seems really good. I'm a fan. 
So I started to rebuild that Moldrotha deck and realized it lost a lot of rotation. Maybe kind of sad, but Sorrel's pretty strong. Yeah, Sorrel is great with it, right? Like, you just get free cards. Also, you can play... Um, you can even put Moldrotha in the graveyard and use the, the black-blue split card. Connive Concoct, I think. Uh, I thought it would be up. Yeah, this one. So that you can surveil three and then just return the Moldrotha to the battlefield. It might not be the best reanimation spell, but the, the versatility seems good. Oh, yeah. Turn two Spybug, turn three Whisper, turn four this guy, turn... Yeah, this is great. How do you feel about these hands, man? Great. Okay. Can you, when you breathe, can you breathe away from the mic? I just did. Okay. Good for you, man. Good for you. Good for you, good for me, good for everyone to see. Someone just posted on my Facebook wall, they're like, this is the, uh, this is, this has to do with your thoughts on, uh, on the recent saltiness tirade that I had recently. The, the, the thing I said about yesterday about being salty. This is when you stream and, like, you, you have to try to not be salty. I like the odds of this guy surviving against a deck that opens on a green. Michael's brain. I don't know where to go from it's here. It's real dry and others feel the pain. Michael's brain. Others do feel the pain. He's right. I'm just going to run this guy out there because I got an extra bonus damage. A boni. Do I play around the righteous blow? Yeah, I don't want that anyway. What does that deal to damage? Yeah, I think we're going to risk it. And we're going to feel real bad. But the problem is like we don't have any second surveil cards in our hand. So, like, we either wait till we have a 3-3, three, three, which doesn't look like it's anytime soon, or we can just run it out there. This guy's going to be a 2-2 two, two for 2. Not ideal. Ideally, we draw... What's a good 4-mana card to hit? Muse Drake? They play something. We can, we can draw price of... What do you call it? The card. Price of progress? Yeah, price of progress. Price of murder. It's the price of murder. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, I can play both of these. Whatever, it's a 2-2. Two -two. That Venom shirt looks like a metal shirt. Like, it looks like it's a metal band. It looks like a Swedish metal band. Yeah, that's the Venom Metal Band shirt. Yeah, it's the Norwegian Metal Band shirt. Uh, done. Do we go see Venom this weekend? I guess. Oh, God. Have, have we got any Rotten Tomatoes from it yet? I don't think so. It comes out the 5th, but I think the, uh, the embargo was lifted a couple days ago. So we can either play this as a 2-2 or wait for it to be like a... 3-3? Three, three. A 3-3 three, three with, like, one guild gate, which means we draw yeah. the guild gate, we play it, and then the next turn it becomes a 3-3. Three, three. It's just not really worth it. I don't know what's wrong with him. Is that your... Look at these. Look at this guy. Turn 4, this guy. Look, we both played 2-2s two on turn 4. Uh-oh. Oh, I see. I see. But then they also... Oh, that's a good... Oh, man. Arctic is so good. I'm just going to play Watcher, though, because it also it also fulfills my surveilling needs. Who watches the Watcher? Your mother. Oh. She's a real peeper. I'm going to put both these in the graveyard. Peeper, creeper. Where'd you get those meepers? Where'd you get those meepers? Peepers, creepers. Where'd you get those pies? Where'd you get those pies? Yeah. What does that even mean? What does it mean? Oh, Michael. We are Venom. <laughs> Destroy the child. <laughs> That's the Alex Jones version. Destroy the child. 
Uh, this just gives Floaty Boys float. Unavailable yet. Yeah. Okay. Um, some of the official... The official reviews were pretty mixed. Best song update ever. Nerd Garçon, thank you so much for the for the nerd the best song update ever bits. Really appreciate it. I feel like we're way ahead, but I don't know. They could be like, Kwapow, boo boo boom, shop shop shop, boo boo pow. And I'd be like, uh, what are they gonna do that with? Uh I don't know, that's the thing. I don't know what it, I don't know what they could do that with. Boom boom pa So three, four, five, six. We can make this unblockable, that's nine. I'd like to hit a land here, but um, I guess we'll take... Do we even want any of these? No. Like, I'm just going to hit another land, right? Oh, wow. All right. Disdainful Stroke seems insanely good to just sit on here. Yep. You okay? I'm dying. I Yeah, that's the impression I'm getting. Yeah, I'm just going to sit on the Disdainful Stroke here. We can also shoot a guy if we want to. We can shoot if we want to. You can pump your gun. That, men that has menace, good sir. Oh, they probably have the the uncommon plus one plus one for all your creatures thing. Yeah, that's not. You can't block there. It's got menace. Cause Mike don't dance, and if he don't dance, well, he's no friend of mine. You can dance. You can dance. Everybody's wearing some pants. Yeah, this is an uncommon. Oh, no, it's not that. Oh, plus three, plus three. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. What the can you do? We can also just shoot this guy for two, which seems pretty okay. Yeah. No, it wouldn't do anything. Never mind. It's taking three, not four. Sure. So you're at nine. One, two, three, four, five. So you're going to go to five. If I can make two guys on... We can actually shoot your face, put you to seven, and then four and three is unblockable next turn. So we'll just think... We'll just keep up the disdainful stroke. I don't want to get blown out by, like, plus two, plus two for all your guys or something. Demir Scrybug in honor of the... Moto There's a Moto Scrybug? It doesn't even scry, though. What you know about scrying? Don't go scrying to your mama. Don't go scrying to your mama. There should be a Venom versus Carnage. Well, why though? Why why should there be that? <laughs> Let's. I, I like I like having reasons for things. I mean, if they want to have if they want to tell a Venom story that involves all the things that I can't deal with that. I guess they only have three power though, so I don't think that matters. Why don't you counter it? Because this is that's not what disdainful stroke. Oh, I thought this cost three. Nope. I oh this is literally I said this yesterday, if you guys were watching. I said this guy cost three. I was like, oh I thought this guy cost three. Apparently now I know he doesn't cost three. But uh that doesn't matter to me, apparently. No, well, that's sad. That guy's really good on this board. I mean they have to double block, right? Or else they're dead. Don't go scry into your little... Venom is worse than Catwoman? Oh, God. Oh, God. No. It's not good. Oh, they're just taking four here. Wow, that's pretty good. Well, now I'm still going to keep the, uh, the Disdainful Stroke up, so... So the Virtual 3? Yeah, boy. Virtual 3? Mm-hmm. From what? Oh, from the shooties? Yeah. I mean, I have a feeling you're going to attack with one of these guys to make it a 2-2. I'm just going to shoot that in response. Because I don't want them gaining life. Don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. <laughs> Why not? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Take my money. Does this guy ever stop talking? Who? Who? Me? Don't let your Mike bees grow up to be biscuits. You make this guy float four, five, six, seven, eight. We take eight. Oh, that's fine. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. If you have the the thing, 
God, I really don't think I care. I think I just want to block. No, whatever. I'll go to 14. You have three cards. I'm not scared. Yep. Go to 10. But I only have one floaty boy, and I have five power of, of floaty boys on the board. Michael, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys, okay? Okay. Come on, let's go. Let's see you die. <laughs> this is why we saved it. Get wrecked. And dead. They have one flyer. They're tapped out. Just in case. I think our opponent has died. Nope, still can't do that. Still not legal. Still has menace. Okay. That was a good try, though. Yeah, to give it one more go. Maybe I'll block it. Maybe this time it'll work. Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to get some Agua Fresca. Agua Fresca? Yeah. Do you mean water? Yeah. So just Agua with no Fresca. It's going to be Fresca. What does that mean? It's going to be fresh. Huh. Well, I'll be. I'll be, Michael. I'll be. I don't think we're boarding anything in against them yet. We just saw some pretty basic basic boys. Ooh. Oh, we got the Is it Guildgate and the Chamber Sentry. I'm gonna assume yeah, we can play this on three and any of these on four and then this on six. Well, I'll be your Aqua Fresca. I don't know what that means, but okay. Chat, Mike, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. <laughs> come on, man. Hey, you come on, man. I wish this was the Golgari Guild Gate, because then I could play this guy for four. Ooh. I don't think I want to. I think I'm fine with him on three. However, it would have been nice to have the option. Look at that little rock charger. Rock charger. We're going to go red, blue, and this guy. Sunburst this boy. Done. Well, I'll be your aqua fresca. I'll be your tasty treat. <laughs> okay, now I got it. That makes more sense. Now I appreciate. Oh, so they did have they did have plus two plus two. Nice. We played around it, but I mean, all we did was really keep the disdainful stroke up. So. And I'll be. I'll go fresco when I'm older. I'll be the tastiest treat of your life. That's a good jam. It's not a great jam. We could play this guy, but it doesn't do much here. I think it's just better to play another four drop. Probably, probably big monument boy. Look at our, our, our all our artifact men. All the king's horses and all the king's artifact men. The plus two plus two is a sorcery, yes. If it was an instant, it'd be pretty busted. But the fact that it's just tacked on to like a, a crop rotation type spell and it's also um it's just it's just it's just a versatile card, so it's just fine. 
You're probably not going to play it in Constructed like you. What is that? Homemade peanut butter candy from my mom. Would you like to try it? I don't think that's... I have plenty of pieces. I don't think you know how candy works. Atomic Frog, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. One Aqua Fresca sub. Well, well, there's supposed to be chocolate on top. You're for some to reason, she thought I didn't like it with chocolate on top. I don't think your mom knows you at all. She's like, hey, I made you lasagna. I don't really like lasagna. Oh, right, you don't like chocolate? I won't put chocolate on there. No, I'm fine with chocolate. She, I think she just makes stuff up. Well, either way, it's really good. It's kind of like peanut butter fudge. Your, your face is like peanut butter fudge. They used to call you old fudge face. I've got like 20 pieces of this stuff, so. That's a lot. Feel free to have some. Mike had to have something to wash his venti frappuccino down with. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when you drink an 1,100-calorie drink, you just want to wash it down with a, a brownie. I don't know about 1,100 calories. Okay, let's look up a venti mocha frappuccino with a whole banana in there. Calories. There we go. That's what we're looking at here. How many calories in our venti mocha frap? Uh, Starbucks Grande... 360 about 500 so you're like half right plus a banana so bananas don't have that many calories calories in a banana it's like 70 okay so about 600 105 okay. so you're at 600 calories for a frap sure anyway um i don't know what to do here i don't think we're playing this even though it does it pumps this guy which is nice because then we can just smash into their face which I like doing. I don't drink coffee, so I get that Fendi Frap that's ice and vanilla. Oh, the uh, the vanilla bean Frap. Frapperuski. Frappy Tappy. Yeah, I'm just going to play the bug. And then we're going to get in there. Come on, little buggy. You all, everybody. Remember that from Lost? Remember you all, everybody? Oh, how could I forget? That was a good, that was a good show. How could you forget? I don't know. You could. 600 for a drink is stiff when water is free. I agree with you. I'm like, I got some Coke Zero. That has zero calories. 300 see you later bits. Josh, you leaving, buddy? Well, see you later. I'm rolling a napkin spliff. That doesn't count unless you smoke it. I might. All right, five mana. What are you tapping here? Are you a kitty cat? No, you're just, just casting that dude. Celestia has some big dudes. Hmm. This doesn't trigger either of these. I think we're just playing big fat, big fat bird boy. I'm your big fat bird boy. My name is Michael. Big fat bird boy. Do I block this guy if they attack with it? I'd probably just block here, right? Plus three, plus three makes this guy a four, six. So that's worse. Because then we still take four. I'd almost rather just trade here. But they have five cards in hand. That's a lot. Uh-oh. 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 I'd like a venti aqua fresco with a whole banana blended in, please. So when you convoke, you can use green, right? Oh god, it's gonna be so bad if like I'm just I'm just blocking here. I'm fine with it. If you want to use a pump spell on this guy, it's fine. Cause we saw the plus three plus three, so if you use it on this guy instead, um which you would, we're still losing our guy and we're taking five. So I'd rather take one and trade the one for one. Uh both of these are going into the graveyard. This guy will get sizable price get sizable mm -mm. i want you to get sizable let's do this guy triggered come on come on buddy come on everybody you all everybody come on buddy 
you have like a four damage spell that you're like, I need, I could use this right now. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Are we? At, we're up a game, right? Yeah. Price. I want price. Whisper agent. Okay, that triggers both of these bad Larrys. Oh, another rose main centaur. Look how beautiful he is. How regal. Regal af, bro. This can also shoot something. I can just actually kill this bird, which makes their ground guys significantly worse. I can also pop in for two, and then if they attack with this guy, play this guy and block. Or I can not attack and block here. I don't know. I don't know, man. I think we have a lot of options. We can play either of these on their turn. You all, everybody. Do we just attack with this guy? I don't know. I think so. Got to get in while getting's good, man. I was just afraid of this guy with this guy, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean, Vern? What do you mean, Vern? Actually, I'm pretty eager to trade here. Yeah, let's just be a little more aggressive. They have two cards in hand. I think they're going to double block here. If they do, I'll just trade with this guy. It's totally fine. My name is Jeff. A banana is an edible fruit. <laughs> Botanically, a berry. Are there inedible fruits? Uh, yeah. Like what? Like the Chesapeake turquoise. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's because you've never eaten it before. Correct. I know. Nailed it. I got him with the old Chesapeake turquoise. No comment on my fra- I don't, I don't drink frap. I don't drink fraps, so I couldn't have any comment on that. Uh, okay. Do you have another pump? Yeah, of course you do. Never didn't have it. Wow, two of those, huh? Pretty good. So this is going to go up to seven. We can actually play this guy in response. Uh, we should put this guy up to six, and then we can shoot it for one. So that we're not, all is not lost. And we get to bounce this. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, that's actually fine. I can keep that on top. Always yield to you, and always yield to you. Yep, you can have that. And deal you one. You all, everybody! Well, they have one card in hand, so they have to play it here. Sure. I will take six. This card's problematic. I would like to get rid of this with a... Information. Uh, not a distant... Oh, I guess they have no cards in hand. Yep, fantastic. <sighs> lucky, 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 lucky. Must be nice. Cringe. Man, I actually felt like this hand was very, very good, all things considered. Now I feel like it's very, very bad. So five, six... Probably attack with this guy and fly and then just attack normally with this guy, but... Yep. Really? 
Interesting. Yep. I feel like this this one one three is actually giving us the hardest time here. And we'll get a land. Like you do. Yeah, I actually don't even know what to, uh, to hope for here. Yep, we're just going to go to the next game. Sure. His dues were too thick. Yeah, I don't know what to bring in against that, actually. Tempted to bring in this. Wall of Mist blocks a bunch of ground dudes. They have a lot of 4-4s, four actually. That seems fine. Disdainful Stroke also seems very good here. Yes. Yes! I want to take the Chamber Center out. It's kind of middle. Um, man, we haven't drawn this guy once. Nope. Is the candy tasting going to be on YouTube? Yeah, I mean, every every it's part of the video. So, yeah, it's just, it'll just be in this video that's going up. Um, it's not going to be its own video because it's not linear long enough. I'm going to take the locket out because I don't actually care about the stupid lock. I don't know if cilantro pocky counts as candy, but... It's definitely... It's Japanese snacks. Hey, man, let's try the pocky. I'm not going to try it in the middle of this... I don't want to focus on it. I'm in the middle of a match, man. Yeah, get wrecked, you stupid Mitch. See how aggressive that was? All you got to do is taste it, man. I got to open it. I got to taste it. I got to show them what it is. We got to talk about it. We have to discuss the flavor. All you have to do is taste it. I'm also playing this match of magic. I don't know if you noticed that. No. Just double Q, man. I'm good. I'll just wait. I can wait. Pretty sure coriander and cilantro are actually the same thing. I like that you remembered that it tilted you and you're like, I have to I have to let him know that he's wrong on the internet. Coriander, also known as cilantro or Chinese parsley, is an annual herb in the family Apiace. Apiace. Um, what is the difference between coriander, cilantro? I know we both have cinnamon. Heating cumin is much warmer than this. Coriander seed is used most often in sweet pastry. All cumin is used. This refers to coriander seed, not the herb, which it is. The, yeah, so, I mean, coriander is like the seed of. I mean, it's the same plant, but. I guess we're just going to. Block. Oh, coriander's a seed. Okay. Clearly very important if you uh, remembered it the whole time and you were like, I oh, remember a couple days ago you were wrong about something? I just wanted to remind you. That's annoying. All right, that's better. This guy. So next time we can play both of these, which is nice, or both of these. And this guy will get larger. I turn your love around. I was hoping they miss a land drop. You hoped wrong. I did. I clearly hoped wrong. My name is Michael. I live in the garbage can. Well, that's good, because now we can bounce this and we don't have to worry about... Uh... Yeah, that's actually great. You can stay on the top forever if you'd like. Forever? Forever, it's Michael. Mm. 
big boy stomping in the dead of night. Take these rock chargers and learn to fly all your life. I, I said that we know what's on top, but I'm not going to not play this guy. Thanks for the content. I'll catch you on YouTube. Permita, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the bits. Uh, yep, you can stay on the top because that's where I like you. Take these broken mics and learn to fly. All Mike's life. Mike was only waiting for his biscuits to arrive. Huh. Oh, interesting. I will uh, put you in the fronty front. You okay, man? No. One, two, three. I think we actually just play. I don't know what to actually. I don't know what we're doing here. Probably want both of these. I think so. Into the night of the dark banks. Yeah. What? Shut up. What? Shut up. What? Shut up. Eddie, it occurs to me. That we can do whatever we want. All right, whatever, whatever, Venom. Oh, they're just attacking for two because they can pump it. Oh, that means they don't have a trick in hand because otherwise, just attack with this guy, right? Or they want to play a big fat fat. That's fine. Big fat fat, and I don't care. Big fat fat in my Mama's underwear. On. Oh, in my underwear. Do I just get in there with both these guys? Mama's in the kitchen, and I don't care. Mama's in the kitchen in her underwear. Yeah, this seems fine. I'm a little afraid of... Uh, oh, interesting. It takes seven. So if they play the big fat spell, the six mana one, I block here, I take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, exactly. That's sad. I might need to just keep up. I'll always take one, two, three, four... I might just need to keep up disdainful stroke. Yeah, that's fine. Michael's in the kitchen with an underwear. Oh, that's all you're going to play? Dang it. Come on, play the big 4-4 at least. Give me something to, to, to counter. Don't be like this. Beans and cornbread. Max and cornbread. I will take two. And I'll be grateful for it. I guess you can attack with like a beetle. Just to get a bigger guy out of it. It's probably better. It's probably pretty good. It's pretty good. This information campaign off the top would be nice. Maybe. Pump this guy. Play this guy. Pump this guy. So big. What is your favorite type of ice cream? That's a good question. I really like uh, peppermint ice cream. However, I'm also a big cookie dough fan. Like, if there's... There's got to be a lot of cookie dough. And they're also... I'm also a big cookies and cream fan. But there's got to be a lot of cookies in the, in the ice cream. There's also a lot of cream. Well, I feel like they're all, that's I feel like that's a given cuz that's how ice cream works. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Michael's in the kitchen with Jordan and Jordan. Mama's in the kitchen. Michael's in the kitchen with Jordan. Michael's in the kitchen with Snickerdoodles. Wow, that sounds amazing. Does cornbread equal cake? Uh I don't think so. Ice cream that doesn't taste like ice cream? Well, wait, what? I'm pretty sure cookies and cream and cookie dough ice cream are both, they both taste like ice cream, right? I feel like this game is very, very close. I would really like a price of fame. Is that what it's called? Price of fame? That wasn't it. Yeah, correct. Yeah. 
still not very eager to take down Disdainful Stroke here. We could also discard one to this next turn. They just attack. Like, they're going to take three in the air if they don't block. If they block, it's pretty good. One, two, three, four, and they give this guy flying, and then we're dead in the air. If they attack with all three of these guys. If they block here, they're going to go to three, so they have to block here and here, and then we're not dead. One, two, three, four, five. They can block with all these guys, and we can kill both of these. Actually, I actually have no idea what to do here. I'm pretty sure it's just this guy. Mama's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Mama's little baby loves shortening bread. Skip it, do do do, skip it, do 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 do, skip it, do. I think it's funny that there's this thing. we have two disdainful strokes in hand. They have yet to play uh, any of the cards that we saw last game. The four four, the five five. All right, so they have a plus three, plus three in hand. Sure. Or they don't, and they're just trying. Oh, they don't. They're just trying to go to four. Okay, that's actually fine. So we have to block here. No, we actually have to block here, and then we just die to their pump. Because they give this guy flying, and then they can pump it to four, and these guys are both two. So if we block here, we take four and two. So that's fine, maybe, because we get to play this. I don't know, man. This match is way too close. If I had a inescapable blaze, I think I'd be in a lot better shape, especially because we have the other skill gate too. Yep. Looks like they figured it out. It was not tricky. Maybe they target the wrong guy for flying. They did not. Hmm. Maybe they'll forget to pump. Maybe. I wonder if that's worth the risk. I'm going to say no. It's going to cost them five, which is nice. If they have any other pump spell, then they're, they're dead. But... Okay, they don't. Huh. Okay. Okay. But excuse me, I'll play this little bugger. So, plus three plus three makes it a five six, so it dies here. And you have to block here. And then we have two flying blockers and a disdainful stroke. Mm. And you're dead if you don't pump it. So we, it's two for one. Oh, they just they don't have it. They just lose the game. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Close one. That was a close one. Woo. There was a sweat and then the epic. That's a Mike B original right there. Oh, we should have tried these, these pretzes in between. Dang it. I'm bad at this. Oh, this hand is great. 100% keep. Two mana, three mana, four mana, big fat, fat. Two mana, three mana, four mana, five mana, six mana, seven mana, hey. Eight mana, nine mana, ten mana. Okay. Either way, coriander pretz, taste of scented coriander. You ready? Now I'm not in the middle of a really intense game. Although, this is not... I don't want to break them. Here we go. There we go. We did it. There you go, man. Here's a coriander pretz. Ooh. Ooh. It smells just like it. Oh my god. That is a really strong scent.
Yeah, that tastes like coriander, all right. It's good, though. You know what it reminds me of? Tell me. What, tell me what it reminds you of. It's like eating pho. Yeah, well, pho has a lot of cilantro in it, so that makes sense. I think it just makes pho broth in your mouth. Pho broth. <laughs> it makes the pho broth in your mouth. I like that. That's good. Yeah, they're actually good. They're They're good. It tastes like a very... Uh, I'm not used to Pocky that's savory instead of, like, sweet. Yep, that's fine. These are just tutus. Oh, Demir Informant Surveils. This gets a counter. Maybe that's good. I almost like this guy. I like this guy better, though. It blocks here. And next turn we can Surveil and trigger both these guys. Then we can Surveil again, trigger both these guys. And then we can Surveil again and trigger both of these guys. <sighs> You want another pretz? Yeah. Here you go, man. Coriander pretz. They're, like, completely green. Like, yeah, I don't know if it's, like, if they're covered, if they're just, like, bathed in coriander. I don't know if they're, like, infused with it. Oh, it's turn four. They missed a land drop. Maybe two land drops. Oh, two land drops have been missed. Oh, boy. Michael's brain. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Michael's... I, I see I drew Notion Rain and all of a sudden the song's in my head. I'm actually going to just attack with both. See if they block. They probably won't block. And then I'll play Whisper Agent. I haven't called the streams. So have we tried any decks other than Demir? Um, yes. Yesterday... Yesterday we won with a three color Naya deck. I guess it's I guess that it's implied when you say a Naya deck. So by we meaning you. Well, we and me and the group, the chat group. Oh sure. Um, I want to put this in the graveyard because they don't have three mana, let alone four. So could be good at some point, but I do want to hit lands. And let's see if we hit one right now. Look at that, we did it. God, if we just waited to play our land. God, we're so hasty. God. I like this stream. That's all I have to say about that. Johnny Big and Talls, always appreciate it. Uh-oh, they're going to do a thing. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that was Rude. pretty good. I like that a lot. I like that because it has Death Touch. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. I'm just going to take two here. I feel like our Whisper Agent has better uses. Um, Michael. Always be surveilling. Lives in a trash can. He came out of the dumpster. Oh, we're definitely putting that on top. We're going to put both these on top. Actually, I'll put this in the graveyard. The only reason I did that was because I felt like the other one, uh, I wanted the other one first, so. This stream likes you, Johnny Big, Large, and Talls. God, big, large, and tall. Big, large, and talls? That's so many things. He's big, large, and tall. Welcome to the club. Welcome to your, your mom's club. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. Tell me more about your fun and your games. I kind of just want to play this guy. It doesn't surveil, and this guy is problematic because it makes one of these a three boy. Who even cares? They're gonna die. Wow. I mean, I think Old Man River cares. He doesn't. You're probably right. Old Man River. Coriander Pretz. What a time to be alive. One pretz for you, good sir. One pretz for me.
Woof. It's got a very strong it's got a very strong flavor to it. Oh, I see. You're gonna luminous bond that guy. That's unfortunate that you would do that. I thought we was friends. You could bounce your guy. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I don't think I care enough though. Jonathan Big Large and Tall's. Are they pretzels or just pretzel pretzes? Uh the brand is called Pretz, P R E T Z, so you know. Take take it how you want. Started by Richard Pretz in 1947. Wow, pretty old company. Yeah, I'd say he he was he was way back. He was one of the one of the old boys. So I can price in kind of five, six, seven. I can deal you seven thousand damage. I can price to kill this guy. I can bounce this guy. And I can make two birds in the process. Let's do that. What do you know about that bird? What do you know about the bird? I know that it's the word. Everybody heard about the bird. Bird, 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 bird. Um, yeah, I'll keep that guy on top. Play this as a land. Has everybody heard? Actually, we probably should have killed this guy, right? Because it can't attack or block alone, so it's pretty... Oh, okay, we just won the game. <laughs> I killed the wrong guy, but whatever. And our opponent, Justice Swift Justice, did the wrong at the wrong time, so... Looks like the Justice wasn't Swift. You don't think so? Bow wow! Guitar riff. <laughs> this is a lot of pretzes in here. How many more are there? Like a million? Here you go, man. Here's another one for you. Two pretzes for your troubles. Let me blind it. I'll keep this hand. He blinded me with science. He blinded me with acid. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> it was significantly worse than science. Okay, that's actually good. I wanted to be able to play this guy. Next turn, play Dark Agent. Dark Blood A Agent. And then we'll play this, I guess. I don't know. Magic's hard. Oh, Christ. This seems pretty oppressive. He blinded me with science. I guess we're double blocking here. Hoping that does a thing. Nope, guess not. Yep, this is pretty strong. And we're only at 11 and he's at 26. What problem is? <sighs> Probably chump blocking so we don't have to take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Instead we just take th 4. But we do get to play Watcher in the... Watch, there's the watcher in the sky, looking at you, he can read your mind. Alright, well that's probably the end. Where were you earlier, you stupid idiot? Do we have any cheaper cards that we can board him? We have a ton of two drops. <laughs> that's, that's something, man. I feel like Spinal Centipede's probably better than Lock It here, just so we can have another guy. Are you 2-0 drafting again? Um, yes and yes. Would you like to play first? Yes. I will mulligan. I will keep this. I will put you on the top. My name is Michael B. Looking at butts. It's kind of my job. 
You heard me. At your mom's. Oh, got him. At my mom's butt? That's what you oh. look at? Mm-hmm. Shut up and take my money. One s- <laughs> snack of Jawea. That's pretty hilarious, actually. <laughs> Kurt, what's going on, buddy? We're in the midst of eating eating some coriander pretzels. And we went hard on these uh, these lemon high chews, which were pretty delicious. These are, these are actually my favorite high chews right now. Currently, my favorite high chews, you see. I actually kind of want a Notion Rain. I kind of want to play this, though. I wish we had a land here, but... We're kind of get some pho tomorrow. Oh, where can you get some pho? Yeah. Wow, Mike's just is like, I can get some pho now. Pho shizzle. Oh, we get to hit a land? That's great. Wow. I'm so about that. And this is a 3-3 that can just pick off both of these nerds. Yeah, boy. Don't let Big Spice fool you. Corey and it's just so Yeah, I know. That's what I said. Um, I'm going to obviously block here. And if you want to, like, pump it to kill it, that's totally fine. I'm going to obviously block here. <laughs> Does, um... <laughs> Being your friend is like, it's actually painful sometimes. It's so painful. Correct. Um, This guy's going to be a 3-3, three, three, so we can actually play this and this next turn if we keep the land on top. So I'll actually put both of these on top. And if you want to trade Mentor for this guy, that's fine. I am the eye in the sky, looking at Mike, he has big blue eyes. Oh, we can also just play this guy, I guess. Which seems also pretty okay. His name is Sprinkles McGee. What do you think about value green red cocoa deck and modern using both Goblin Realm Master and Legion War Bus? Um, I don't hate it, you see. Yes. Uh, I feel like Rampage of is better here because we can Notion Rain afterwards and make it a little bigger, but... What are you doing over there, man? You smelling your fingers? Yeah. You got a little doo-doo on them? No, I got a little coriander on them. Cory Doo-Doo. Is that your boyfriend's name? No. Huh. Maybe. Or we can actually just make this a 2-2. We can actually play both of these. What do you think about that? I don't care about you. Okay. Good talk. <laughs> Good talk. I like being able to get this down before they start mentoring things. Because Look if they play a mentor guy, mana. I want to... What? They look to be stuck on red mana. Well, they're stuck on white mana, brah. You know what I mean? They I mean they're choked on red mana. How about that? Oh, they got a little mana choked? Mm-hmm. I am the mic in the sky. Oh, yeah, a carpet of flowers. Boy, that's pretty good. Carpet of flowers? Mm-hmm. Got a carpet of flowers. What are we hitting here? I don't care about the Wall of Mist. The Gilgate would have been nice with this idiot. But as it stands, these can both go in the garbage can. As it stands, these can go in the garbage can. That was actually pretty sweet, because now we can play this and still keep up unexplained, and it triggers this guy again. That was basically the most perfect draw that ever could have been. It was the most... And we can, we can like shoot a thing if they try to do some shenanigans. Man, this is such a surveil format. Am I right? I can't tell if you're joking, but, like... Only half. Feels true. Well, I think you're memeing on the original meme, but, I mean, like, it still seems like you did it because it's true, right? Right. Do the coriander pretz taste like being kicked in the mouth by Pablo Escobar? No, that was, um... That was the cocaine candy that you sent. He didn't send any cocaine candy. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. <laughs> he just sent regular cocaine. Oh, look, they finally got the red. They're going to justice justice this guy. 
Oh, this guy instead, huh? Yeah, that's sad. I'm sad now. Are you? Biz. Are you? Biz. Are you? Biz. Oh my gosh, Sh shut up. Just bounce something and win, right? Bounce his lifelinker? I can, for... I can bounce the 2-2 two -two and shoot the lifelinker and then shoot the other guy. Oh, they... Good games. That's how you 3 -o, ladies and gentlemen. So this time, for this, for this, for this particular draft, we had, uh, to recap, we had some lemon high chews. I don't think these are available in the U.S. I've never seen lemon high chews, um, but these are actually insane. Like I said, these are probably my favorite high chews that I've ever had. Absolutely ridiculously flavored. Just delicious. And we had some coriander pretzes, all thanks to Kerwit. These are hard to see because of the green screen. Take my word for it. Actually, you don't have to. I'm gonna. I'll do the thing that we usually do. There you go. Coriander pretz. Now you can see. All right. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm not leaving in case you're on. You know, if you're if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving any of the YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching on YouTube. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Both of the links are in the description below. And if you want to support me on Patreon for one dollar a month, you can get some sweet content. I'm actually going to throw up an article tonight um, about a sweet blue red burn deck for standard. So if you're interested in that, check it out. It's only a dollar a month, and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys there. But thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.